All right, hey guys, uh, thanks for being here for this week's Oxen Labs update. Uh, essentially on the session side, we have continued to work on Emoji Reacts uh, quite a bit recently. Um, we are hoping to release very, very soon. Actually, I just uh, signed one of the iOS uh, builds, which is going in for App Store review now, so it, it shouldn't be too long um, now. We're just waiting on Android uh, for a final few things that were picked up in an initial round of QA. Um, we had worked on the ID blinding release uh, a couple of weeks ago, which should be out to most people now. Um, there were a few issues which have been patched over the last couple of weeks, and we still have another patch that will actually come in the Emoji Reacts release, um, which will fix up a few of the lingering issues that were um, put out in the ID blinding release. That's probably about it for the session stuff, although we have been working on the push notification server as well in the background, and then there's also some changes coming through core for closed groups, which won't be implemented for a while. Um, and the next kind of big things on the roadmap are uh, theming and the menu redesigns, which we're working on as well. On the LokiNet side of things, we have been continuing to work on clients. So uh, we had good news this week. We finally got a build of Mac um, working on Jason's computer. So now we're going through the uh, process of internally testing that. Um, so hopefully we'll have internal tests flowing throughout um, the, the building here because we have quite a few Macs in our office and, and testing out how LokiNet works there. Uh, there's a few GUI changes which we may need to address um, with making the user understand whether, whether LokiNet is on um, just normally and then whether the exit is on. So we'll look at seeing if we'll make those before we do a release. Um, but things are going well on that front. Uh, and on the core side, we're basically getting ready for a mandatory service node upgrade, which we'll be telling you more about um, in marketing material over the next couple of weeks. Um, but basically this mandatory service node upgrade is to fix some of the small contributor rules that we um, that were supposed to go in last release, but we had a, an error happen with them, which is allowing small contributors to unlock when they shouldn't. So we're going to be able to do a mandatory service node upgrade to be able to limit that functionality on the network so small contributors can't unlock anymore. Um, so the core devs are working towards that. And there's also been a bit of a logging refactor as well um, that's been going through over the past couple of weeks. We also have a test um, version of Wallet3, which hopefully we'll be making some more noise about um, over the coming weeks. So yeah, I think that wraps uh, everything up for the uh, development side of things. I'll throw it over to Cam for the marketing side. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this week's marketing update. First of all, very sorry to all of the Josh fans who won't be getting their fix this week. You're stuck with me, but hopefully he'll be back next week. So this week, Cam and Wes have been working on some A-B testing processes for their advertising strategy. It's really important to make sure that these processes are working well because A-B testing is really key to making sure that we're getting the most bang for buck from our advertising down the line. We've also been working on the comms for the upcoming release, which is going to be Emoji Reacts, ID Blinding, which for those who, of you who don't know, ID Blinding basically just means that you'll be able to DM people from open groups again, as well as some performance upgrades. So that release will be coming out soon. We've got everything pretty much ready on our side of things. We're just waiting for a few of the kinks to get ironed out on the dev side of things. Uh, we've also released a new video uh, which compares digital privacy and physical privacy. I also wrote a companion article which you can go and read. We'll link those ones down in the description. There's also uh, a new article which came from Wes, which was about the surveillance state. I think it's some of his best work, so I highly recommend that you go and check that one out. If you haven't already, once again, we'll link that one down in the description. Wes and I have also been uh, using some extra tools and some new tools to make sure that our H1s, H2s, and just overall the SEO of our articles are performing as highly as they possibly can. The SEO on the session website is already pretty good. We provide you know, a lot of long form content and we've done a lot of optimization over the years, but we think that these tools will help take it from good to great. So hopefully um, you will start to see the results of that play out over the coming months. We also released the second edition of Framed by OPTF, which is the new newsletter from the OPTF. This uh, edition of Framed came and it was about the Twilio signal hack situation. Um, speaking of which, we also finally recorded a podcast for session and it is covering the same topic. So I know that Tom, as we record this, is feverishly editing that podcast and hopefully it will be out 
pretty soon. I'm really excited for all of you to see it. I think that you're really going to enjoy it. Um, what else have we done? We also implemented the new Notion changes, which we've been working on over the last week or two. Uh, I spoke about it in the last marketing update that I did, and that's really been rolled out and implemented across the whole team now. So all of the uh, the engine is absolutely purring, I would say, and everybody's really enjoying the new Notion workspaces that we've created, which just makes for easier collaboration, cohesiveness, overall efficiency of the team. And the last thing uh, that Josh, Connor, and I have been working on uh, is the settings redesign for session. Now this probably won't hit your device for a little while, uh, but it's gonna be a really important change which should help clean up the settings menus in session, make everything much clearer what the settings actually do, make it more intuitive for people to be able to find those settings that may be gonna change how um, things like your privacy settings are gonna work. Uh, obviously, those are really important things and it's really important that they work as expected for everybody. Um, so really excited for that to get out there, although it might seem like a bit more of a mundane change uh, compared to something like Emoji Reacts, which is coming out in the coming weeks. So that's pretty much everything from the marketing team at the moment. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully in the next update, Josh will be back here in the office and you guys can get your fix. See you everybody.